Service Plan first came to us with the idea and said they want to make a film for BMW motorbikes in 3D. And uh, we're a small two director production company and we're totally up for technical creative challenges and we thought it would be great to bring this film to life. We decided from the beginning to shoot with two cameras, uh, stereoscopic, rather than do the 3D in post. And I wanted every single shot to be considered so that the 3D is really woven into the fabric of the film and it's not some kind of gimmick overlay. We decided to also add another layer to the film, uh, which is the high speed layer, uh, shooting at a thousand frames per second and in 3D, which is why we went and spoke to the guys at Vice Cam. When uh, Ryan first came to us, um, he came with a quite a big challenge for us. It was not only high speed, it was high speed and 3D and even on a really fast tracks. We found a way to put everything in a compact way onto the rig and so we, we had the chance to pan and tilt and roll the whole camera even if we go 120 uh, kilometers per hour. To get the most 3D effect out of, this, of the shooting we really need to have the motorbike as close as possible to the rig. In the end if you see the bike going that close to the rig in 3D it really pulls out of the screen and you see it almost coming towards your, your face. We created a small 3D rig and that gave us the chance to go up to 200 kilometers per hour and shooting in 3D. So that's really, I think, uh, very special and I don't know if ever somebody ever did it before. The results are unbelievable, crazy, really. There was a lot of planning involved. Uh, when we're shooting 3D, we, we wanted to make sure everything was locked down and ready before we got to the shoot. With this technique, there's a temptation to go to a studio shoot, but I really wanted to feel the power of the bike on the road. So we shot on location on an airstrip, which gave us really a lot of space to do the, the moves and the, get the speed that we wanted to. Yeah, well, the bike's a great object to shoot. It's got really amazing lines and, and crazy acceleration and performance. So to capture it uh, the way we did and, and get it really popping off the screen is pretty exciting. Once the shoot was wrapped, there's still a lot of pose to do. You have to do pose for the left and the right eye. Also, uh, to really get the best out of the 3D, to bring the two images, lay them over each other, and really get the bike popping off the screen. From the beginning, we wanted to take the bike into a, a darker world and make it like a beam of light, uh, the rider and the bike moving as one through this dark world. And, and to do that, we have to take it step by step in the post-production um, to, to replace the sky, replace the floor and, and take it into the world that we imagine the film to be in. And we're really excited about the results. <laughs>